Hello Internet, I'm Sean with Red Arrow Industries, and this is our Top 5 Misleading Function Names in Avid Media Composer. Ready? Let's get started. Number 5. The Focus Button. By default, the focus button is set to your H key and allows you to quickly zoom in and out of the timeline. In fact, when you press it to zoom out, it zooms out as wide as you had it set by the scale bar at the bottom. But why is it called focus? Well, I suppose it's because when you zoom in, it focuses on that section of the timeline. But is that really focus? It doesn't focus the footage or anything like that. It should be called zoom or snap zoom or even just snap would make more sense because that's exactly what it's doing. It's a super fast zoom in and out. Believe me, it's a very useful function. The name just doesn't make sense. Number four, render on the fly. By the name alone, you would think this means once you apply an effect to a clip, it would start rendering in the background as you continue editing your sequence. Wrong. What render on the fly actually does is takes any unrendered clips with a blue dot on it and renders a preview image in the record monitor. It even allows you to scrub through the clip, resulting in some lag. With Render on the Fly turned off, Media Composer doesn't do the necessary math to show you what the clip looks like with the unrendered effect on it, and instead just goes to a black screen. Either way, no actual rendering for playback is being done, which makes the name Render on the Fly very misleading. Number 3. Capture across timecode breaks. I know tapes aren't used as much as they used to be, and this may be an irrelevant function today. But if you were capturing a tape with time of day timecode, the deck would stop capturing every time a new timecode was detected. The solution to this problem was the capture across timecode breaks function, along with the log errors to the console and continue capturing function. And I use the word solution very loosely, because this function does not actually capture across timecode breaks, but instead stops the capture at the timecode break, creates a new clip, backs up the tape to the custom set pre-roll, starts rolling for however long the pre-roll was set, then starts capturing again, which means if you set your custom pre-roll to one second, you lose one second of the footage for every timecode break you have. The upside to that is you can set your deck to capture an hour-long tape and go have lunch, as long as you have the capture across timecode break box checked. But honestly, it really should be called capture until you get a timecode break, stop, save new clip, back up to pre-roll, roll, and continue capturing. Rolls right off the tongue. Number 2. Okay, this one really bothers me. The go to previous and next edit buttons, which by default are the A and S keys on your keyboard. To be fair, these buttons do literally go to the previous and next edit in your sequence, but once it jumps to the next edit, it puts you in trim mode. Trim mode! I have a button for that already, it's my U key! Which means every time I jump to my next edit, I have to press U to get back out of it. Why does it do that? It makes no sense! However, there is a function that allows me to jump back and forth between edits without going into trim mode. Which leads me to my last misleading function name. Number 1. Rewind and Fast Forward. Yep, if you were born before 2000, forget everything a VCR taught you about navigating through a VHS. In Media Composer, Rewind takes you to your previous edit without putting you into trim mode, and Fast Forward takes you to your next edit without putting you into trim mode. It has nothing to do with how fast you move through your footage. So why is it called that? Rewind should be called go to previous edit. Fast forward should be called go to next edit. Go to previous edit should be called go to previous edit and activate trim mode. And go to next edit should be called go to next edit and activate trim mode. What were they thinking? <sighs> Sorry, I, I got carried away there. So there you have it. Red Arrow Industries top five misleading function names in Avid Media Composer. Are there any other ones that confuse you? Let us know in the comments below. Also, hit that subscribe button so you won't miss the next tutorial that we put out. And if you'd like, visit us on the web at redairindustries.com or swing by our Facebook page at Red Arrow Industries and give us a like. Thanks guys for watching.